Oh, my goodness. Everybody, real quick, if you can hear me, please drop a one in the chat. This is crazy, y'all. Crazy. I'm about to tell you what's happening here in a second. Let me just change my camera really quickly. Okay, that's better. Okay. Oh, my gosh. If you can hear me right now, there we go. Okay, listen. So my entire setup is just down. I am live right now from my laptop. That's why it looks different. This is not our 4K camera. And our we just bought one of those brand new iMacs. Uh, and we were using it just for the live streams. Um, and for some reason, this thing is two days old. It just stopped working out of the blue. So thank you. So I can't, I am unable, let me see, hold on, let me see, let me see if I can still finish this live tonight, because I don't, I really don't want to reschedule this. Let me see, something might pop up on the screen here in just a second. With certain types of hair, you will find there. that some we're still, we're, I'm still, I'm just going to do it. All right. I won't be before you long tonight because, oh, and look at my name. My name is, is called do not add. Let me fix that. You know what? Okay. Let's, let me just do this. We're having some technical difficulties with um, the streaming over here on our end. So I'm just going to update my name really quickly in here. And I am not letting the enemy win this today. I'm just going to get this live done. Hello, everyone. <laughs> thank you so much for your patience. And thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Everything here looks a little bit different because I am. Uh, I had to set up my whole new camera and all of that stuff. But I will not be before you long tonight. I have to prep tomorrow. I have a one-day consulting um, with one of my uh one of the ladies who attended um one of my events in the past she paid to come out here and spend the day with me working on her business so i have to prep for that for tomorrow so i'm not going to be long tonight but tonight is part three of the how to make a closure from scratch it is the final part and then we're going uh to do some new stuff for next week so tonight is all about ventilating and if you see my, um, my me moving up and down, it's just because I'm on my laptop and it's the back part of the laptop flapping. So just ignore that. But that is going to be my intro tonight. That's right. We're going to push through tonight. All right. So I am going to quickly say hello to you guys in the comments. You know what? Let me just pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your mercy and your grace and your peace. And Lord, I thank you for backups because if we didn't have a backup, I wouldn't have been able to go live and share what you've laid on my heart for me to share today. So I thank you so much for that. And I just pray for a solid internet connection tonight because I'm not even, I don't even know what the quality of this looks like because I am not hardwired in. Actually, you know what? I can be hardwired in. Give me one second. Give me one second. All right. I'm going to work this thing out. The enemy is not going to win today. So, Father, I just thank you. I pray that you use me in any capacity. I pray that you open up the hearts and the minds and the ears and the eyes of each and individual under the sound of my voice and that this technique deeply penetrate to the very core of their being so that they can get it and they can do it and they can learn it, and they can move forward in business, all right? Amen. Okay, um, <clears throat> so tonight, I'm just going to talk tonight about ventilating. However, given our current situation, I was supposed to have a two-camera setup, and it was going to be all good, but thank God I prepped a pre-recorded video before this. So I have a video that's going to play. Hi, Deidre. I have a video that's going to play and it's going to, um, 
Hold on, y'all. I just had another thing pop up. I have a video that's going to play that's going to talk about ventilating. But before I get into that, I want to say hello to some people over in the comments. So I'm going to play my intro video right now to give me time to go and grab my um, my cord so that we can be hardwired in and we can get this training in tonight. All right. So I will be back <laughs> in just a second. You got to love technology and the Internet. If you want to broke your business, we will show you how to get it up Get it up, up, up yeah. We just be making deposits yeah. to help you start making deposits. Yeah. We building a team full of winners from novice beginners to moguls with profits. And moguls that's profits. Yeah. Steady for greatness, we strive. Yeah. We dropping them gems over here. Yeah. Tune yeah. in to my credit, we yeah. live. Am I the only one that sings and dances to that song? <laughs> I know I'm not. Okay, look, I'm going to switch uh, my internet over real quick so you may lose me for just a second, but don't panic because I'll come right back on. Boom. And it looks way clearer than before, I pray. Okay, so tonight, let me just double check this. <laughs> I need that song in my playlist. That's hilarious. I'm just going to double check this from my phone and see what the quality is looking like. Um, my goodness, you got to love. I'm just going to double check. Okay, good. I'm good. Okay, so. Let me say hello to y'all over in the comments. If you are just tuning in, I promise you, this is not what my lives are like. We are having some technical uh, issues behind the scenes with one of our uh, streaming computers. So I'm here live on my laptop, but the show must go on, okay? All right, so I'm gonna jump over here in the comments and say hello to the Rondas because apparently there's a lot of Rondas here tonight. <laughs> Rhonda Thornton, how are you? 504 Darling, I think your name is Rhonda <laughs> too. Y'all had a whole conversation before we even started. I love it, I love it. Kino Mercer, how are you? L Herring, how are you? Tiffany, Tiffany Hodges, how are you? Laura Graham, how are you? Elstina Goodwin, how are you? By the way, while I'm saying hello to people, be sure to share this live with anyone who can benefit from this information. Tonight, I'm going to be talking about hair ventilation. Lauren H says, hey, 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 Marquetta and family. Glad to be in the building again. Can't wait to receive what's in store. I know that's right. Shoot, because it must be good because we almost got, <laughs> got shut down. Whoo, Sybil says, hello, Marquetta family and team. Everyone looking good. Everyone looking in good morning. I think you, I don't know. I don't know, but I understand what you meant. <laughs> JOK says, hey, what's up, everybody? New York is in the house. What's up, New York? I was just telling my daughter we need to take a trip back to New York sometime next year. Stephanie Dixon says, hello, McQuetta. Hello, everyone. T. Cole Beauty, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Brenda Johnson, how are you? You are so welcome. Be sure to like and share because um, I'm getting ready to get into this uh, content. April Adams says, hello. Patricia says, hello. Laura, I think I... I'm probably missing people. Michelle Henry, 
Uh, hello, everyone. Alnisa, Kay, Nicole, Beauty Box, Keisha Simpson, Alicia. Yep, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce your last name. Hello. <laughs> hey, from the DR, how are you? What time is it there? I'm just curious. Jeremisha Mayfield, how are you? I hope everybody is having an amazing night and a great start to the last month of the year. I got tripped up in saying that last night, y'all. Um, so tonight, we're going to be talking about ventilating the lace closure. So this is a three-part series of how to make a lace closure from scratch. And tonight is the final part to this series and it's gonna be all about ventilating. Now, what I wanna start with is talking about two important things. I'm gonna reiterate these two important things. I talked about them. Be sure to go back and watch part one and part two because they are jam-packed with tons of information that just layer on top of what you're gonna to learn tonight. So it's really important, there's, I think in, Part two, I talked about lighting. It might have been in part one, but I have time timestamps. So just make sure to go through and um, scroll through the video to the part that you need because there's two things that are very important. Well, one thing as a whole that's really important, and that's if you can't see, you're not going to be able to ventilate. So you need to make sure you have good lighting. And then you also need to make sure there is actually, I think I have a screenshot of the light that I currently use. So let me do this. All right, that is the light. I'll do it again. I know that when I place, there we go. All right, so make sure you take a screenshot of that. Um, Go back and screenshot that so you know what type of, well, that's the type of light I use. I like to use LED lights because they just mimic daylight. And to me, it's much healthier. Um, I was commissioned to make a wig for a movie years ago and was on a tight deadline. And I used to use these uh, lights that we had in our studio back in the day called TOTA lights, T-O-T-A lights. And they were, oh, I want to say not fluorescent lights. I forget the name of them. Might have been tungsten lights, but they were the very, 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 very hot lights. And so I'll never forget, I was ventilating uh, the project and the light was, wasn't was shining directly on my face, but it was shining on the project, but my face was very close to it. And by the time I finished, I pulled an all-nighter. By the time I finished, I went to lay down and when I closed my eyes, I could still see that light very, very clearly and vividly. And my the side of my face was hot for like the rest of the night. So it was a lot. So just make sure you, you're using an LED light. They don't get very hot. Um, and they're really, really good for seeing. Also, the other thing that I want to mention, there's a couple things and I'm going to go pretty quickly. There's a couple things. The other thing I want to mention is being able to see. I use prescription bifocals. I have progressive bifocals. So the bottom of my bifocals are magnified enough for me to be able to see to ventilate. Okay. So that's really important. Some people use the magnifiers, like the thing, like the actual magnifier with the arm that comes over. Some people wear the magnifiers where you can change the lenses. I mean, there is no one thing that you can use. You just have to choose what's best for you and what's best for your project. You just want to make sure that you can actually see the holes in the lace so that you can see what you're doing. Because a lot of times when people can't get the knot is because they don't have proper lighting. They can't see. <laughs> That's I'm telling you, that makes a world of difference. I've been teaching how to ventilate for over 10 years. And that has been the common thing. So I used to not bring my own lighting into the hotel rooms. And now when I have my hands on events here in Vegas, I bring my own lights to brighten up so that people can see because that makes a world of difference. Okay. So number one, make sure you have great lighting. And number two, you're probably going to need some sort of magnifier or readers. 
My daughter's young eyes, she's 17 years old. She doesn't need anything. I've, I've never experienced what that is like. But for me, I have to have uh, readers. My doctor, I showed my eye doctor optometrist um, what I do like with ventilating. And so he prescribed me bifocals to allow me to be able to see even better. And um, I use them for, I still use them for reading too. So just make sure you're able to see what you're doing. All right. So that's number one. Now let's talk a little bit about ventilating needles and needle holders. All right. So someone just texted me, I think it was yesterday or last night, by the way, by the way, if you are not in my text community, you need to be right now. So there's the number scrolling down below. Just make sure you send me a text so we can communicate. All right. So somebody texted me last night and he was like, hey, what type of ventilating needle do you recommend? And ventilating needles are like shears. They're like writing utensils and uh, stuff like that. It's personal preference. So you have these um, these are not aluminum, but aluminum holders are a thing. These are more like a heavy type of metal holder. I say heavy because it's weighted. It's a little weighted. And sometimes people just like to have that little bit of extra weight. This is not my go-to, but I will use these if I don't have one of these. This is a bamboo holder that has the needle, the Asian needle already made into it. You can get these from Atelier Bossy. And the reason why I love them, oh, I can do the YouTube thing now. <laughs> Don't y'all laugh at me. The reason why I love them boom, is because they have the size of the needle stamped on the holder. And so those of you who have been making wigs for quite some time know that it's a little bit of a nuisance to try to keep up with the needles and the sizes and then the different holders. So people do all kinds of things. They put tape around them with the number of the needle and all that. Cause you can't tell with the naked eye, the size of a needle. All right. Now that's holders and a little bit about ventilating needles. But the last thing I want to talk about is the two, the different types of ventilating needles. And then I'm going to play the video for ventilating and then we'll be done. I told y'all this was going to be short and sweet. Okay, so your ventilating needles come in two different types. Really, it's three different types, but the two of the types look the same. The three different types are your skin needles, your Asian needles, and actually there's four. Forgive me. Your Korean needles, your Asian needle, your skin needle, and your German needle. All right. Your German needles are, are the long ones with the sharp angle and the flat end. Your Korean needles look exactly like the German needle, except for they don't have a sharp angle. They have more of a curve. And then your Asian needles are the short ones that look like you can't even. Oh, I get to do it again. That look like that. OK, on the end of your ventilating needle, the very, 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 very tip is a tiny little hook. That hook is called the barb and the barb is responsible for catching that hair so that you can make that knot to ventilate. Okay. So just remember those key things. <laughs> I know it's a lot of information, but make sure to go back and um, if you need to and watch this video. So the video that I'm about to play I'm finding a picture of that Korean ventilating needle um, for you, Rhonda, and for those of you. If I can, they're sometimes hard to find, but I do like them because here we go, right here. I do like them because they're easier, in my opinion. They're a little bit easier to um, easier to whip stitch with. Okay. So let me just share my screen really quickly. This is, I wonder if that, I wonder if I can do that. Let's see. Yes. All right. Things are a little bit different, y'all, when I don't have my whole setup 
So that's it right there. That angle. See this this flat end right here will not fit in this holder. All right, it only fits in the plastic holder. If you want to use this holder with that type of I'm pointing like y'all can see where I'm pointing. With this type of needle, you have to take wire cutters and snap this right here off and then it'll fit into here. All right? So that, ladies and gentlemen, is, there we go. That is your needle, your uh, Korean needle. The German needles look just like that and uh, except for they have a sharp angle, okay? All right, let me jump over here to the comments before I get into this tutorial and then we'll be done. Man, I feel like this is going by so fast. Uh, there you go, Rhonda. I just popped it up on the screen. Um, okay, let's see. I thought I saw some a question over here somewhere. Mm. Oh, okay. That question, it looks like, it was for Rhonda. Rhonda, are they heavy? I think Rhonda was talking about um, the magnifiers that you use for ventilating. Um, so better than bamboo. When it comes to whip the whip stitch, for me personally, it is better than the bamboo. There's something about the way that needle is structured because this has such a sharp angle, like a sharp hook to it, it's a little bit more difficult for me personally to whip stitch with this. If I use the Korean needle, I can go a lot faster. So it's a little bit easier. What needle, this is a good question right here. What needle do you recommend for beginners? I always say start with, so when I taught myself how to ventilate, I had a German needle and I struggled a lot. And it wasn't until um, I tried that. I don't even know how I got my hands on the Korean needle at that point. I don't even remember where I got it from. Um, but once I got my hands on the Korean needle, I was able to ventilate faster. And once I tried that Asian needle, it was all over from there. So I said that to say this. It is personal preference, the needle that you choose to start with. But in my classes, and if you order the toolkit, everybody gets the Asian needle because I find that more people can learn how to ventilate quicker with the Asian needle, although that's not always the case for everybody. Great, great question. Yes, Tiffany, it is kind of like a cross between the German and the Asian needle as far as angle. Yep. That is it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. So right now we are about to <clears throat> get into ventilating. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a video from one of my YouTube videos um, that teaches how to do the single knot. All right. There's many different other knots that are used for many different other purposes. So when it comes to ventilating a closure, your single knot is going to be the primary knot that you use unless you start doing split knots or something like that in that hairline area. All right. And in most cases, the single knot is going to be used, but sometimes the, sometimes the placement of the single knot is what creates uh, a different look for your ventilated closure. Now, I know I'm ending this series in this video, but once I get a good bit of the closure done that I'm working on for this wig, I will do another live dedicated to that and do a Q&A for those of you who are following this to actually make a closure. All right, so what you're gonna see me doing in this video, and I will link via an info card in one of these corners, I will link to the full video. It's a 20 minute video showing you how to do the single knot. All right. So I'm going to play the video right now. And then when I come back, I'll hop over in the comments and then I'll sign up for the night. Okay. I cannot believe this is going by so fast. So here we go. Is a lot more slippery than others. 
And if you run into that where you're working with slippery hair, all you have to do is add just a little bit of water to the hair and you should be fine. Water helps maintain the control, it helps the hair stick together. Some wig makers, I know this is gonna sound disgusting, you don't have to tell me in the comment down below, but some wig makers will chew, literally chew on the hair because it breaks, the, the enzymes in your saliva breaks down uh, some of this hair and they'll chew it and use it. I know it sounds nasty, but I'm just sharing with you this information, all right? So the first thing you want to do is when you're looking at the holes in your lace, you want to find the single hole. First, before I get into that, let me tell you how to hold the hair. All right, so what I have here is, this is cuticle hair. I'm not gonna say Remy hair because that's a whole nother video breaking down what Remy hair truly is. So I'm just gonna say that this is cuticle hair. The hair is still intact. So with cuticle hair, all of the cuticles are unidirectional, they should be, which means all the cuticles should be laying in the same direction. The reason why that matters is because with cuticle hair, if you mismatch the cuticles, it will cause severe tangling and matting. Because what happens is, let's say the cuticles, my fingers are cuticles, right? So the cuticles are here, right? And if I mismatch hair and put cuticles here, what's happening? It's locking up. And so what's gonna happen is that hair is gonna lock together and it's gonna cause severe tangling and matting. So when you're ventilating, you do not want... Okay, I see what you guys are seeing with this uh, replay of this video, which is nerve wracking. So let me try one thing and if this doesn't work, then... I will come up with a different solution to make sure you all still get this content. So let me try to figure this out real quick while I'm live. This is so much fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Technology is something else. I will tell you with all this technology, we can't, I guess we can't expect for it to be perfect all the time but we want it to, at least when we're using it, right? It should be perfect when we're using it. All right, let's see. This may work a little bit better. Let me see. I hope it does. This is so, I'm, I, all I can say is this is amazing. <laughs> Y'all know that's my favorite word. It's so amazing. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. I hope, uh, I hope this works this time. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Okay, here we go. When you're working with certain types of hair, you will find that some hair is a lot more slippery than others. And if you run into that where you're working with slippery hair, all you have to do is add just a little bit of water to the hair and you should be fine. Water helps maintain the Okay, so for whatever reason, that's not working properly. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, when this live is done tonight, it's going to be done. And I will, in post-production, go back and add the video for those of you to see it. But I will also re-record this part three on Monday night. Normally, I don't go live on Monday nights. Um, because I go live earlier in the day for my prayer hour, but I owe you guys this part three and I want it to be right. And because we're having so many tech technical difficulties, um, it's just not working out, but it's okay. Um, because on Monday night at 7 PM and I'll schedule the live and everything Monday night at 7 PM, I will redo this video, but everything will be working the way it's supposed to. Um, we just have to fix these technical difficulties that we don't even, we didn't even know uh, we were having because everything was working fine before this. So before I go, I still have about two minutes to, if you have any questions, uh, to drop your questions in the comments and I'll get to as many as I can in the next two minutes. But rest assured, part three, will happen and i'll what i'll do is i will um 
I'll get everything scheduled, if not tonight, tomorrow, so that you can favorite it and come back for part three because you got to have part three. That is one of the most important parts of the entire process is understanding the process of ventilating. Thank you guys for being so generous and understanding. All right. Sherry has a question right here that says, is it possible to use a single knot followed by a split knot to lock in the hair? Absolutely. Um, however, I've never done that, but it seems like that's the type of knot that is done at the factory level, but I cannot confirm that for sure. So I think that's kind of similar to what they're doing. You could do that. I've never done it, but I mean, anything is possible. Just like I said last night, the possibilities with this skill are endless. You can do so many things with ventilating all right so uh, with wig making as a whole the possibilities are endless so i would try it i interviewed another marquetta i cannot believe somebody has my name um but i interviewed another marquetta i think it was back in march or april or may or something like that and she made i mean it was her first lace frontal that thing was gorgeous all right it was beautiful and i interviewed her I think we did it live actually, but I interviewed her and she talked about the type of knots that she used around the hairline and she put split knots in the hairline. And I can understand why, because it made that big of a difference because the whole, the knots are even smaller, but you run into the issue of it potentially unraveling. So that's another, um, that's another deal in and of itself. But I mean, it came out amazing. The piece was amazing. I'll that drop an info card up here so you guys can see that um, because her work was phenomenal. All right. Um, let's see. It looks like I saw one more question that I have time for, or it may be gone already. And yes, it is. And I cannot. Oh, there it is. Vanessa says, why does my single knot always come undone and unravels? A lot of times that happens because the knot is not tight to the block and tight to the lace before you pull through. So you wanna make sure you tighten up on your knot all the way down to the base of the knot before you pull through, because if you don't, then it'll be too loose and it'll pull through. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening, but because I can't see what you're doing, I cannot confirm that that's what's happening, but I think that's the issue that you're having. Okay, guys, that is the last question for tonight. I have to sign off. I'm so, I apologize for all the technical difficulties, but don't worry about it. You know, I got you covered. Um, come back and check my YouTube channel for all the schedule for next week. Um, I will make sure that this gets done. I want you to make those closure pieces and tag me in your work so I can see it online. Everybody have an amazing night. Have an amazing weekend. And don't forget, Monday morning at 9 a.m., I have my prayer hour where I'm right here live, either sharing a message or I will be praying for people live. The Lord has not laid that message on Monday on my heart yet, so I'm not sure what the direction I'm going in. But rest assured, it's going to be amazing. All right. So, yes, Vicki, I will still be live on Monday morning at 9 a.m. PST. All right. You all have an amazing night and have a great weekend. I love each and every one of you. God bless and good night.